Child of God, we are coming your way once again with this powerful word of encouragement. We pray that you will be blessed as never before in the name of Jesus as always. Please kindly bow down your heads as we pray with you. Father, we thank you and we bless you, we honor you, we give you all the praise. We thank you, O oh God, how far you have brought us. We walk in your power, we walk in your grace in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, that you are always there for us. We pray, O oh God, that you lead us into all things that you have prepared forehand for us. In victory, O oh God, we thank you. We honor you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, Child of God, for once again opening up your doors unto us. We just want to come and speak into your life with this powerful words of encouragement. Kindly turn your Bible with us to the book of Hebrews. It's just a powerful scripture and I would like to share this with you. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. And kindly come with me to verse number 19. Such a powerful word. This is what the word of God says. It says that, therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh and having a high place over the house of God. Now listen to this. Having done all this, verse number 22, it says that, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Let us draw near with full assurance of faith. And now listen to this. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure order, water let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering without wavering oh praise god without wavering for he who promised is faithful he who promised is faithful we just want to speak into your life you are not an abandoned child you are not a failure and never you will be a rejected person. Maybe things at this moment, it is not where you want it to be. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Bible says that it doesn't matter what you are going through. With boldness, let us draw near. With faith. And get hold that which he has made perfect for you. The enemy will always be there to tell you that you are failed. It is not going to work. Some people are better than you. Look at what you are doing. That is not your story. Your story is totally different. Why? Because this is your story. He says, draw near because all the impediments, all the negativity has been taken away from you. One thing that I want you to understand, when you stop, you lose the skill, the dexterity of doing something in the Lord. It will go away. But once you hold on to your faith and keep moving on, Bible says that everything will work together for you. So child of God, keep moving on with this boldness, with faith. We want to conclude this by saying this into your life. When you come down to 30, 35, I believe, and 36, Let's quickly read it. It says that, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence. Oh, praise God. Don't cast away your confidence. You know what the word of God is saying. Sometimes the enemy will come and take it away or paint a picture that will confuse you. But Bible says, don't cast away your confidence. Why? Because there is something when you hold on to your confidence, something better will come your way. And I'll read it to you. He says that, don't cast away your confidence, which has great reward. Once you hold on, at the end, you're going to win. 
Once you hold on, you will see the glory of God. God is not going to deny you of your grace. God is not going to deny you of the power. God is not going to de deny you of his blessings. Hold on. Don't cast away. Don't stop. Now, Teddy says, he says that, for you have a need of endurance. Don't we all? Let's hold on. Let us hold on. Don't give up. We all have a need of endurance so that after you have done the will of God, which is don't cast away your confidence. He says that you will receive the promise. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God keep you. May the Lord God lift you above all things in the name of Jesus. May any mountain before you come down in the name of Jesus. We speak against all the plans of the enemy that sometimes paint a picture of negative against you. May you see beyond that in Jesus' name. And above all, remember, conquer fear, find hope, and be encouraged. God bless you.